All right, hello today YouTube. This is your boy Steve at Vast Motorsports, and today we're working on restoring a early 80s Club Car DS golf cart. Now this one was in the flood. It was in Hurricane Inn. It was down in the RV park where we keep our RV, and it was one of the neighbors. And uh, let me just show you what we got going on here. I'm going to restore it, make a pretty nice card out of it. I'm not trying to make a top notch like some of the others. It's just an older cart, but I got it really cheap off the neighbor. He was pretty much just going to get rid of it. Just wanted done with it, so I took it because he knew I restore golf carts and all kind of stuff. So anyway, here we are with it, and we're going to turn it into something that runs and rides again and in pretty nice shape for cheap money. All right, so I've got it up on stands. I've been... Well, he more or less had it stripped as far as the headlights out, and uh, he had the seats redone before the flood, so they're in still nice shape, luckily. They didn't get ruined or anything. Um, the cart, I guess he started sanding it down and was going to respray it because, obviously, somebody has sprayed it before in its life, and uh, it did have, like, the little SS center caps on it and stuff, so... Least we'll clean those up. The tires are in good shape, actually. It didn't hurt those being in the flood. Uh, they still have good tread. They're not dry rotted or anything. So I pumped them up, made sure everything is full there. Now, what originally happened after the flood was uh, I was down there restoring a bunch of carts in the in the park there. So him being my neighbor, he wanted a little help with this, and I just walked him through it. He more or less did the work himself. He wound up taking the motor out because the back wheels were locked up. We figured out it wasn't the brakes. As soon as you jacked it up, then you could spin one tire and the other would go the other way. So I knew it was the motor. I told him, go ahead and take the motor out, get it freed up. He did, put a new set of brushes in it, cleaned it all up. So the motor works, uh, but his batteries were actually empty on water. They didn't have anything in them. So we put distilled water in. He tried charging them for a while. They got enough charge for him to drive it up the street in the park there and bring it back to know that the motor was working. And when he tried to pull in the driveway, he wouldn't even make it. So those batteries were shot. Because I wanted to make sure the thing was worth, uh, that it would actually run still on the motor, the electric motor, before I put any time and money into it. So I just had three 12-volt deep cycles around. I had to steal one out for my car trailer over there. But... Um, I just grabbed whatever I had around the shop, three 12 volts, wired them in series to make the 36 volts, and I was driving it around for quite a few days, probably a week or so around the, the shop here and down at the house. And uh, then this side, the front wheel started squeaking really bad. I mean, both of them were about to lock up again. So anyway, they're taken care of now, new bearings, didn't mess up the spindles. Um, now I'm working on the brakes. All right, so I'm back on the cart, and I've <clears throat> been sanding it pretty good with the DA. I wasn't going to spend a lot of time on it because I'm just going to spray can it anyway. So it doesn't have to be great. don't have to be perfect. But there was some holes and stuff. That's where brackets go for the windshield. But there was little nicks and stuff like that, some cracks. Uh, there was a big crack back here and stuff. I glued it up and took some of this uh glazing putty and just filled it you know and that way i can come back and sand it i already did one coat but when i sanded it you could still see a little area where it went low so i did another spot on it and i only went so far with the sanding because somebody has painted it before with a doggone brush over the factory paint so it was pretty rough and nasty and so i've sanded all that off it's pretty smooth feeling now i'm not priming it or nothing I don't think we'll really see it. I'm going to do a couple coats. So with a band of spray can, it should cover it pretty good. <clears throat> so I did my final sanding. Pretty much got everything smoothed out where I wanted it. I even took the little button snaps off. It had like some buttons all the way around it where I guess over the roof it had a uh, kind of like a boat would or the uh, rain cover more or less you could snap on. So I figured those were just going to make the paint run and stuff. So I took all them out, filled the little holes, popped the rivets out, filled them. All right, I got her all taped up. And I didn't spend a whole lot of time, but I did tape it off nice to where I'm going to have nice lines and not a lot of overspray. 
Uh, got the column and all taped off. All along the edges, just got some stuff covered under there. I did take my back lights out. I'm probably going to order the LED kit. Uh, just kind of threw some cardboard in to cover that area. I left the dash open first. I did tape off my switches and stuff. Because I'm going to go ahead and hit that black real quick. And then that way, before I do my outside, I can go ahead and cover this section real quick too. And, uh, and then I'll be able to go ahead and spray the color on. So let's get started. Actually, one more step. I need to take the prep saw and my blue paper towel rags and wipe it down real good. And that way it's got any grease or anything from my fingers and any debris that's on it. And she'll be ready to spray. All right, so I got her sprayed yesterday, let it dry last night out here in the shop. Just stuck the wheels back on, so I'm going to roll it out into the sun and let it bake for a little while. Turned out pretty decent. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not a show cart. This is just a uh, spray can, rattle can job, you know what I mean? And I'll have to put the emblem and stuff back on. I went ahead and ordered some brand new of the LED headlights and taillights. I did have some pretty bad runs over here and actually a little bit of frying up. So I kind of taped that off. I sanded it earlier and shot one coat of yellow back over it. I'm going to push it out in the sun and let it bake. And then we'll get her all untaped get them chrome little hubcaps on and get the seats and stuff get her dressed up okay so i did my touch up over here on this side it's all right it'll work like i said folks five feet away it looks great and you're looking at it on camera you might not even be able to see it i mean it's not perfect it's not what i really like but then again hey for a 200 hundred dollar cart what do you expect it's looking pretty good. Time to start untaping it and get this thing put back. All right, ordered my <clears throat> LED headlight and tail light set. Another eBay special, 63 bucks shipped to the door. I had them sent down here to the RV in Florida, so that way they'd be here, and wouldn't you know, we just got in last night, and they just showed up this morning. It's what I call quick delivery, so let me go ahead and get these put in, and we'll see how these look. So I've been busy installing the new headlights, got all the wires ran and tucked up in there real nice, zip tied out of the way, front and back, uh, tried to clean up a little bit of the wiring in here, and got it all strapped, going back to the lights, now I'm in the dash, took the panel off because I am going to put the carbon fiber dash on. I just stuck the horn in. I'm going to have that. I've got it bolted to the little chassis there, rubber mounted. And I'm going to have the button right on the uh, dash beside the ignition switch for the horn. So let's get that put off. Went ahead and mounted in the ignition switch in the existing hole in the dash here. It does have a spot for a rocker switch but i don't have a rocker this came with the kit so uh you just drill around hole there and i'm about to put it i guess right in this area here and go ahead and put the horn switch like right in this area it's a push button so let me get this drilled okay so finally got my lights wired up on the switch Super bright LEDs, tell you what, man, them daggone things will blind you. Got the little orange uh, amber running lights on the side there, or kind of on the side. Nice and bright. And see, I hate how the phone does that. The camera image gives it those long, uh, I don't know. Anyway, 
It's not like that in real life. They're nice and bright and clear. She's coming along. All right, so the Hummer cart is finally done. I caught the Hummer cart because it resembles it so much. I like how the tail lights are up and down. Got the black put back on the back of the seats. I painted these. Looking pretty good for a cheapy $200 cart with a spray can job on it. Got the chrome wheels. <laughs> and like the Hummer. It's my H3 cart. It's got very similar body lines. <laughs> got the carbon fiber dash installed with the glove boxes. I uh, got my ignition switch, my lights here for the LEDs. Got the horn. Nice cup holders. It's all coming together pretty good for a cheapy cart. Again, got a lot of the same body line features with the headlights and then the park light on the outside like this squared off everywhere got the black grill up on there so on mine I got my Vast Motorsports tag made up this was the old club car tag they ripped off and uh, messed it up pretty bad so I just painted it black put my sticker and clear coated Turned out pretty decent. Not a bad $200 golf cart. I didn't have to invest much in it because spray cans, you know. I think I went through about four cans and one and a half of the clear. But that is the restored flood cart from Hurricane Ian, another one, y'all.